Well, we do have a seismic situation happening in the United States on Monday. A total solar eclipse, the final one in the United States until 2044. The last total solar eclipse, at least, we had the one in 2017 as well. But unfortunately for me, where I'm located, it was kind of like a partial. It was really dinky. You couldn't even tell. But this one, believe it or not, guys, I don't even have to move or anything like that. It's literally passing directly over my house. It's the path of totality and everything should become pitch black. Maybe I will break out a vlog. I used to do some vlogs, things like that. They were really bad, but maybe I'll have to break out another vlog. Either way, everyone's been talking about the solar eclipse. You can see the Airbnb map where people have Airbnbs booked. Yeah, you want to know what's happening with those. At least this is what I heard. People that own these Airbnbs, at least some of them, they didn't realize the solar eclipse was happening, so they didn't price them properly. You know, it's not they didn't mark them up, so they've been canceling the Airbnbs with people and, and re-putting them up, up on the market for a higher price, for a marked up price. I mean, listen, Airbnbs in general, we all know they're a complete ripoff, but look at this, total solar eclipse donuts at Krispy Kreme. You know, somebody in my chat once asked me, Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts, how is it even a comparison? And I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee, I do. Definitely Dunkin' Donuts coffee is really good. But Dunkin' Donuts is, in my opinion, a coffee place. Their donuts are horrible. Krispy Kremes are the best donuts you'll find, at least when it comes to a chain. And apparently they've got these uh, Eclipse Donuts they're offering right there. But everything is going to be closed, or at least most stuff is going to be closed. I know all the schools are going to be closed around. Everything should be shut down. They're declaring state of emergencies in different states. This is a big deal. This is just a random thing that was tweeted out. <laughs> News, U.S. prisoners suing for the right to see the eclipse on April 8th, claiming it's a religious experience. Well, listen, it certainly is an experience from what I can tell when a total solar eclipse happens. It basically looks like it's either sunrise or sunset all the way around. At least that's what I've seen from videos in 2017. The weather looks pretty good. You know, it looks like it's going to be partly cloudy, which is fine. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for a massive thunderstorm and then it becomes pitch black, but that, that really wouldn't feel as cool because it's already dark and overcast. I mean, you would love it to be completely clear out. Obviously, that would be the best, but partly cloudy. But what can you do? It's, it's not going to be perfect. We'll take it. Looking at a few facts when it comes to the solar eclipse, this is the first one since 2017 in the continental U.S. And you also have this, and, and I agree with this. I, again, the one in 2017, if you're not in the path, nothing changes. Do you guys remember, I don't know if Trump was in the path or not, but he came out, it was probably in D.C., I'm guessing, some government building in D.C. He came out and looked at the, you know, sun and I also think the glasses are overhyped. Like, you need glasses. They act like the solar eclipse, the moon covering the sun, like, changes the sun. I realize the sun is light and you shouldn't look at it for too long. But you can look at the sun. It's not going to kill your eyes. It's like, it, like, that's one of the things I never understood in 2017. They were like, oh my god, Trump is looking at it without glasses on. But it's just the sun. I realize if you look at the sun too long, it's not good, but it's not like the sun is going to destroy your eyes, but it is what it is. It should be a really interesting event. I wish it went completely black. It doesn't go completely black because there's still, it illuminates, you know, the circle illuminates of the sun off of it. And that kind of keeps it at least a little bit light, but it is like once in a hundred, you know, these are the future ones. And it is interesting Solar eclipses, partial or total, they always happen over oceans. I guess it's not surprising considering oceans cover about, what is it, 73% of Earth and the other 27 is land. So the next total one is in 2026 and small areas of Portugal, also Europe, Africa, but that's only a partial eclipse. The total eclipse will be in Greenland, Iceland, Spain, Russia. Oh, so Spain in 2026. That's the next total solar eclipse. But again, in the United States, it's not until 2044. So it is a big deal, guys. We will see what ends up happening. The other thing that I saw 
The New York Yankees had a game scheduled randomly at 2.05 on Monday. I don't know why. I, like, it's not a home opener for them or anything. They just had a game scheduled at 2.05 in the afternoon, right when the eclipse was happening. But it's in New York City. It's it's a partial. And, of course, they delay it. They're like, oh, we're concerned. So they move it back to 6.05. It's like the Cleveland Guardians having their home opener. And they had to move their start time back now. Progressive Field is going to get the total solar eclipse. And I wanted there to be a solar eclipse happening during a game. And they're like, well, it's not safe. I mean, you just turn the lights on. What's the big issue? Are people going to be distracted? You know, it's, it's, you throw on pitches. It would just be something cool to see. Like, like how many times are we going to see solar eclipses? You might as well play a game during it. It'd be interesting. Uh, but they decided to move the start time back from, I don't know when the game was going to start, maybe 4.10 to 6.10, or I think it starts at 5.10 actually. But either way, guys, that's just the solar eclipse. Believe it or not, it is passing right over me. I do not have to move. Technically, if I wanted to be in the direct, direct, direct center, I would have to move a bit. I'm not going to be doing that. It's, you know, you're lazy. You don't want to move. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.